The Woman of the Year Award, supported by Virgin Atlantic, goes to Dylan Mulvaney. Hello, London! I am so honored to be here with you all tonight. And, you know, some see me as the Woman of the Year, some see me as a woman of a year and some change as I only publicly came out online 560 days ago. And some people don't see me as a woman at all. That clip we've just seen goes on for another three and a half minutes. I've suffered it so that you don't have to. But according to Virgin Atlantic, a major world airline and Attitude magazine, the woman of the year is the rather confused transgender borderline circus freak Dylan Mulvaney. And I'm guessing they haven't got the memo that doing any sort of partnership with Mulvaney is financial fucking suicide. Dylan has the reverse Midas touch. Everything that she touches turns to shit. <laughs> Thus far, pairing with Bud Light, and this was one video on Instagram and a couple of photographs, has cost Bud Light four hundred million dollars and when dylan appeared wearing women's gym clothes for nike nike faced a massive boycott so we can expect attitude magazine to go into administration and for virgin atlantic to start selling off its 747s now attitude magazine if you're not familiar with it that's a magazine aimed at gay men and i've read it many times and this isn't me coming out it's just that I'll read Attitude for the same reason I'll listen to Woman's Hour on Radio 4. I think it's important to have a different point of view. And I'm guessing part of the reason that Dylan has been put forward as Woman of the Year is to try and heal the rift between the LGBs and the TQ cult. But in doing so, by saying that rather than any of the 3.92 billion women on the face of the earth should be Woman of the Year, by giving it to Dylan, they're facing a massive backlash. So let's remind ourselves of Dylan Mulvaney. Streamies. Streamies. So I recently told my parents that I may be a little bit romantically interested in women. And that was a big shock for them considering the past 10 years of coming out as gay, then queer, then non-binary, then trans. And I think it was just a bit of a shock. So I tell my dad and he goes, well, I would love to see you get a woman pregnant. And I said, oh, no, 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 she would be getting me pregnant. And then he said, what, do you have a vagina now? And I said, never say never. And then it's... Let's begin with the dancing. If I saw an actual woman behaving in such a manner, I would try and get her sectioned for her own safety and the safety of others. But shockingly, footage which has emerged of Dylan before the days of girlhood transition shows that is what Dylan behaves like all the time. It's either that or floods of tears. And Dylan's grasp of biology, the idea that she is going to get pregnant in the future by a woman. Well, even if Dylan means a trans woman like herself, the mental gymnastics is exhausting. And if he has his junk cut off and has the vaginoplasty thing, and I've seen these surgeries and None of them are anything that I'd put my old chap near. They all look like a wound from a 44 Magnum. So even if he has all the surgeries, she has all the surgeries, stunning and brave. Dylan, mate, you still haven't got a fucking uterus. I also think it's telling the way that Dylan describes coming out as gay, then as queer, then non-binary, and then trans, because this will be an unpopular opinion. I think what's more important to Dylan Mulvaney than being an authentic trans woman is fame. Fame and attention, always being in the spotlight. And oddly enough, Sam Smith did something similar. When his, back when he was a he, his career started to fade, he came out as gay. And of course, there's nothing wrong with being gay. I've just said, I read gay magazines. That's how fucking progressive I am. But when that didn't really work, then he was queer, and then they became non-binary. And I think Dylan is missing a trick, because non-binary gives more scope, because it doesn't really mean anything. It's like, as a guitar player, non-binary is the equivalent of listening to any solo on a Slayer record. 
And if you play guitar, you know what I mean. Hit a harmonic and just shake the whammy bar. It could be fucking anything. In fact, the guitarist in Slayer, or what was Slayer, is called Kerry. Maybe we're on to something. Virgin Atlantic, naming Dylan as Woman of the Year, that's no shock. They've been ticking woke boxes for months. Their most recent ad campaign, which I won't show because I will get hit for copyright, features one of their airliners flying through the air, RuPaul obviously is in first class, and the cabin crew and even one of the pilots are men and women both wearing makeup and skirts. I have to say though, is that a shock? Have any of us got onto an aeroplane thinking, I hope the male cabin crew are all butch heterosexuals? I'd be more worried if they aren't camp and or gay. In fact, one time I got onto a plane and one of the male cabin crew was built like a brick shithouse and covered in tattoos. I was scared he was a fucking terrorist. If I'm honest, when I get onto an aeroplane, the only thing I'm really bothered about is can the pilots fly the fucking thing? And if I'm being honest, and I don't want to sound racist here, but if I'm in the queue and there are people getting onto the same flights who are followers of the religion of peace, the only religion that requires its followers to blow themselves up, I do hope they get searched again. And oddly enough, a few years ago, I was flying to Northern Ireland and I got stopped for a random bag search. And the man checking I was safe to get on that plane was called Mohammed Hussein. And I don't want to sound again like a right winger, but which one of us was more of a danger to that aircraft? So the backlash against this has been considerable. And that's understandable. Today I've been scrolling through Twitter or X or whatever it's called now, and I can't find a single woman, or man for that matter, other than members of the TQ cult, who thinks it's a good idea that Mulvaney has been named Woman of the Year. Because Mulvaney, aside from being mentally unstable, is a caricature, a mockery of everything feminine. Dylan acts like someone who's never actually seen a woman, but has had one described to them. Yet we're still meant to go along with it. But to me, it would be no different to say, if there was an award for Black Musician of the Year, and I won it. And not only had I won it, I'd done it with boot polish on my face. Because, to me, we all know blackface is offensive and racist. If blackface is wrong, then why isn't womanface? Of course, it's not all men LARPing as women. We're about to see a clip of someone born female with a very interesting idea on what it is to be a man. I am a man and I have a vagina and a period kiss. I am a man with a vagina and a period kiss. Here I am. Would you like to see it like that? You don't even want to see any evidence. That's how true that that you just see me. A man with a vagina. If you don't like it, then do what I just got. Continuously shouting, I have a vagina and a pair of tits and I'm a man, does not make it so. I'm not a doctor or a biologist, but I believe someone with a vagina and breasts, that's a woman. And why is it these types of people are either shrieking like Dylan or screaming like they've taken leave of their senses? Because if someone approaches me and starts screaming in my face, I won't take them seriously. If you haven't mastered basic communication, don't lecture me on biology. What a time to be alive. When a biological woman will scream that she has biological woman parts and insist that she's a man. And woman of the year is a biological man who, to be blunt, if Liberace was still alive, if he met Dylan Mulvaney, he would say, Dylan, for fuck's sake, rein it in a bit. As ever, thanks for watching.